in that cat. Pull up 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 in that cat. Before we jump into this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, y'all. We're on the road to 1K. Make sure to hand on over to the website, www.bakewood.shop. I'll post it right here. Grab some merch if y'all able to. If y'all not able to, regardless, I appreciate y'all rocking out with me. It's one of the best ways to support me, to tune into the vlog, to subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up these videos or comment down below, y'all. Look, I know it's been a minute since I uploaded. It's been a little minute. I've been missing y'all, I ain't gonna lie. I've been missing the channel. I've been wanting to upload, but I've been real busy this past month. This one thing they don't want me to show you, the dealership is definitely don't. When you're going to get your health care scrap pack, you're gonna to wanna to have a credit union. Trust me, this is my second time around. I wish the first time I would have had a credit union. This is gonna make your life so much simpler. You see, I got a check right here in the envelope. Big bread. This is what I've been up to all month, y'all. Build my credit. I finally got in with a credit union. If y'all want to get with Navy Federal, stay tuned in the video. I'm going to show y'all how to get with them. The past month, I've been, you know, putting my all into it, really trying to find a car, you know, learning the market, how the market's been changing day by day. You know, I can honestly say prices is going down right now. So if you are in the market in the same boat as me and you're in the market for a Hellcat, either a used one or a new one, you're in the same boat as me. It's tough going into 2023, but I can say what I've been seeing. Prices are going down right now, right? When these gas prices being so high, the cars can only be so expensive because it's a limited amount of people that's buying the cars in the first place. Nine times out of 10, they people like me who already got the 392 or people that's just been so obsessive with the Hellcat platform that they want one. And there's nothing wrong with that because I was that person, you know what I mean? Just walking in the dealership, buying the Hellcat, did nothing else really matter. Now I'm shopping online for a lot of the cars. Um, so I'm going to show you guys some of the cars that I've been looking at, right? Now, the first car, just right off the bat, I'm going to show y'all. You want to watch this video before you buy Hellcat going into 2023, right? Because this is just going to shed a light on a little bit of what's going on out there. Not everything, because there's so much more as far as, like, some cars getting repainted. Um, you know, it's accidents that's not always on Carfax. There's a lot of stuff that can happen with these cars, but they're just on the surface, right? So just off rip, I'm going to show you guys a car right here. This is a car I was looking at this past month in September. Um, car was tore up, a wreck car. Um, y'all see they repaired the wreck car, and I want to say I can't remember the exact price they was asking for, but I'm gonna put it on the screen the exact price they was asking for it, y'all. Um, I want to say for me they was uh, pulling my numbers at like seven or eight hundred a month with minimum money down, which ain't bad, right? But y'all see the condition of the car, so this is what I'm up against right now. Um, you know it's cars like this that's repaired from wrecks or you know just crazy condition cars all it take to see this type of stuff right is to put the vin number on google so that's first thing first y'all whenever you're looking at buying a hellcat or really any car in general if it's a used car you want to put the vin number in google because then you would be able to see if the car been through an auction if it's been wrecked What's going on with it? So always ask for the VIN number. You always want to get the Carfax app that I had. Make sure y'all putting the VIN numbers in the Carfax app and pulling the value on the car. When you finance in your car, if you're comfortable with paying more than the KVB price of the car, at least you know what the car is booking for with that app. So make sure y'all tune into my previous video, just showing you how to get a deal on the Hellcat or Scat Pack, because this video is really going to apply to if you get the Scat Pack too. This is another car that I show on here that was a dealer buyback or a lemon car. So that means that the person that bought the vehicle took it to the dealership three, four, or five times and they was just tired of getting the repairs on it. So the dealer agreed to purchase the car back from them. And then normally they had send a car to somebody else at wholesale. I show that one on the screen. And I discovered all this stuff just running the car faxes on the Hellcast that I was looking at, y'all. But you really need to watch this video if you even are considering buying a used Hellcat at all. Because this is what comes with it, really, is, is cars like this, you know. Um, cars that's crashed up, they limit title cars. Now, don't get me wrong, you can come across cars that is in good condition. But nine times out of ten, in today's times, the dealers is asking at the minimum eight, nine thousand above book for these cars just to try to clear profits because it's been hard the past year for COVID. So that's what we up against, y'all. Um, another scenario, 
I actually found a used Hellcat that came on the market local to me, like four or five hours away from me. It was at a dealership. I called down to the dealership. I asked some questions about it. Um, I had them send me some pictures of the car. The car looked type rough. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's a Charger Hellcat though. So you know what? I said, hey, if it needs some work, my options is open at this point and my mind is open, you know, uh, because I want to get something for the channel. That's the main reason, y'all. I love my Daytona, but it's just the kind of car it is. I wouldn't take none of my Travis Scott's and get them customized. With my Daytona, I wouldn't like really customize that car because it's already coming raw. You know what I mean? So I'm looking for something to bring to the channel. A Hellcat came across. I ran a book on it, 44. But the market, right, is so high right now. The car is KBBN for 44K. I offered the dealership 47K because I know how the market is and I really want the car for the YouTube channel. I really wanted to bring the Hellcat to the channel. The dealership turned me down. So I offered a dealership 3,000 more than a book, but they wanted more. They wanted like 6,000 more than book. They wanted like 50K for the car. So it's just a crazy situation right now, y'all. I'm tapping in, um, you know, cause this past month, even though I haven't been uploading, I still been working. So y'all gotta keep that in mind. Even though I'm not uploading, I'm always working. I'm always trying to make a move for the channel. Um, I was able to hit up a credit union. So that's the route that I'm going is the credit union route. I'm either going Capital One or Credit Union, but make sure y'all check out my video on how to get finance with Capital One. It's really just going to show a lot, y'all. Sometimes when there's hype surrounding stuff, like these Hellcats, especially the older Hellcats, where I'm offering 3K above book for it just because I want it and still getting turned down, you know, maybe these dealerships are doing me a favor. All right, YouTube, so I just want to touch base with y'all a little bit, show y'all some of the cars I've been looking at this past month. I've been meaning to upload, I've been super busy, but look, I've been securing financing with this credit union. Quick tip, if you have a Navy Federal access code that don't work, call up to the customer service people and tell them the access code, right? If it don't work and you get a customer service person that's not trying to sign you up, just hang up and call back again. If I was you, I'd call back every day. If it take you a month to get into Navy Federal Credit Union, that was a good month spent because now you got a credit union, one of the most generous credit unions in America, and you can rock with them, get loans, get a check to go get a brand new car like I got. You can combine that with the Capital One sauce that I gave y'all in the last few videos and just run it all the way up, start a Turo fleet, do whatever you want to do, y'all. But we about to head up to the car wash right now. About to go wash the Daytona, it's been a month. I let the paint cure on there. I got that curb brass fixed on them, um, on the brass monkeys. So you about to get those cleaned up finally. Stay tuned. Let's go one of the wheels that got redone right here. We got this one repainted, it had curb rash on it. Got this wheel redone. Man, they hitting on the charger though. I ain't even gonna lie to you. They look good on the charger. Got some brass monkeys on there. Y'all see how the car looking. Check out that back seat. Y'all seen the before shots. You see the afterwards, how it's looking. Let's search you. We got the Alcantara. You know. Make sure y'all saw it. In case y'all wondering, it's that magic right here. Insane phone. Do that on there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just got the whip together. Y'all see it? 4K. Y'all see it in the 4K. Make sure to comment down below. You ain't gonna wanna miss the next whip I bring to the channel. This is gonna be crazy. Y'all see what's going on, man. Big one lifestyle type shit. Big one lifestyle type shit. No lie. So we just got the whip all clean. I'm in the car chilling right now. I showed y'all some shots before when it was super dirty, and y'all see how it's looking now when it's super clean. I appreciate y'all rocking out me for another vlog, and really I'm just making these videos just cause while I'm searching for the Hellcat, while I'm searching for my next vehicle, as much as I don't want to leave the Daytona, I want to be completely transparent with y'all, so if I'm not uploading, if something's going on, I want to be able to hop back on the camera and just let y'all know what's going on. So I appreciate y'all 
for those of you who did stick around this long who tapped in with the video i appreciate y'all rocking out with me we on the road to 1k we gonna get there y'all early to the party remember that y'all early to the party if you want to do any music if y'all got any video ideas um if you need help branding anything like that reach out to me let's get it anybody that subscribed to my youtube channel if y'all want to collab on some clothing on some music on a youtube video whatever y'all want to do just reach out to me we can arrange it send me an email to bake one official at gmail.com y'all we can do it until next time i appreciate y'all rocking out with me for this video i'm gone